Hi everyone. I'm so happy to be having this Facebook Live today with the amazing Ash Ruiz from here to here, who's so talented. He's, I, I saw a post the other day about him having a heel course that's coming up and he's one of the most inspiring people I know. And I asked him if he would come on and share his insight on healing and just living a whole holy life. So I'm super excited to have Hello. <gasps> Michelle, my bell. Da -da 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 -da. Michelle, my bell. Da -da 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 Hello there, love. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Thank you for Happy joining Sunday. us. Sunday. Thank wow, you for joining. Oh, for me. Oh, 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 hey. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. Hi, little rainbow light. Hello, love. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let me share this with, with my page and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to share this, too. I'm sharing with people right now in the group. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So many juicy things that... So many juicy things. Today. I know. And I'm so grateful that we get to do this. Yay. You are such a heart. Okay, okay, okay. Bamba oh, sing lang lang dong dong. I heard about your six-week course. I got so excited because you've been such a healing force in my life and reminding me what true love is, what it, what it means to really uh, love, to be love and embody love. And I mean, any, anything we can share together that I could support, I'm here, you know? Oh, I so received that. And thank you so much. Same. Mm -hmm. Isn't it so beautiful? I love our South Florida heart community. And I mean, it's just, uh-huh. But your course is global. I mean, anybody can. It is. It is. It is. It is. I'm just. I'm just so celebrating. You know that that we're here in South Florida and oh, yeah. and we get to be of support and. But yes, anyone anyone could join, and um, okay. Let me just let me see what's going on with the sharing stuff. Yeah. With the sharing right. stuff. Yay! Ooh, share share to a page. I'll share to my page. Um, oh, I can do that too, I guess. Share to a page. Post. Share to a page. Share Hi, to a Amanda. page. Hi, Amanda. Amanda's joining us. Hello, Amanda. I just got back from the Heal the Planet event, and I wanted to make oh. it. We oh, you just got set. back. Oh, how wonderful. How was that? It was beautiful. Jai Singh was there, and he was playing the chakra sound bowls. Oh, Hi, delicious. Amanda. Yeah, and there was all this amazing vegan food. Hi, Luisa. Luisa, where are you from again? I don't think Luisa is from Florida. You're from, I think it was California, Luisa? If you could comment. And we're going to be talking Let's about see. healing. Yay! Healing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, I, think, I think that's good. Yeah, you let me know when you're ready. I'm going to um, just invite a couple more people. Okay. Make sure they can be a part of this. And... Uh, well, what I wanted to ask you, Ash, if you don't mind. Um, Not at all. That's, that's why we're here. Ask me yeah, everything. Yeah, because your, your course is HEAL, but mm. it stands for something, right? Yes, it's an acronym for Honor Every Aspect of Love. Oh. And to honor every aspect of love is really getting familiar with who it is you are. Because when you discover that at the depth at the core, at the immediacy. So it's not like somewhere really far away. Depth and core can sound like something really far. Really, but at the, the most basic, pristine, ever-present level, you are a presence that where healing happens. You are the presence where, where evolution happens. You are the presence that, that your life, as you know it, gets to dance in. And so this is really about self-realization and and discovering in a very practical demystified way mm. you know what's already totally in love and at peace and in joy with life right now <laughs> and that's something that i know for me um and a lot of people we think we need to heal something that that's been the whole trick of that word is yes. realizing that we're perfect and whole all the time and yes like, what else can we call it right it's really just Yes. What you're saying. Y yes. You're yes. Home, right? 
yes, you're already whole. And then it's so interesting. Um, so one thing that's so beautiful but with getting familiar with who you are as this presence, as this immediacy, as this vastness, as this yumminess, is that you also get familiar simultaneously with, you know, the mechanism of mind and, and, the, and, and the, the, the momentum at play that, that, that keeps us being masters of overlooking what's already here. You know, I feel like right now uh, there's a big trend in our species where there's a lot of masters at overlooking the well-being of the moment. There's a lot of um, emphasis on all the things we need to fix, all the things we need to change, all the things we need to get rid of, all the things we need to hold on to. Um, you know, it's, so it's like running towards and running away from and uh, to discover in a very practical way. You know, I love that there's so many paths and throughout the centuries, you know, um, all the various religions. And I love, there's this quote, I can't remember who said it, but it's something to the fact of religions are but the footprints of where truth once walked. Mm, you know, the, the echo of, 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 of a momentary opening. And it's so sweet that in our everyday lives with our emails, with our clothes and with our fashions and with our, our trends and with our acai bowls and with our chakras and with our crystal bowls and with our, that, that we can discover and, and truly turn up the volume of, oh my gosh, I am love itself. Mm -hmm. I am it's abundance not, it's itself. On what I'm doing. Yes. Yes, I am that. And then how fun to start noticing that in that devotion and in that recognition and that making friends with, you know, the truest part of yourself. Um, we see that our words are now informed by the wisdom of our being. We see that our actions are now informed by the wisdom of our being. When we're overlooking who we are, we're really caught up in the story. We're really caught up in the projections. We're really caught up in... And, and our limited point of view as to what this is and what that is and what needs to happen here, what doesn't need to happen here, what they should say, what they shouldn't say, what they should do, what they shouldn't do. And so we're being informed by, um, you know, this, 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 this innocent child that has a lot of confused ideas about reality. <laughs> That's why I just do this, I get the pillow. Uh -huh. oh, I love it. And I hug that yes. part of me that gets confused. Yes, it's so sweet, it right? Me it, a lot. Isn't it wonderful <laughs> to know that we can totally soothe and, and, and be and be a presence of support to those, you know, it's like I love that every part of us is here. You know, isn't it wonderful meeting beloveds? I love I get to meet beloveds and and I get to meet them as infinite aware presence, no separation, closer than even a namaste. And I get to meet them as a two-year-old, four-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old. You know, it's like uh, an, an ancient sage and, and, you know, so multifaceted. I just wrote a, a spoken word piece and it said something about uh, multifaceted cosmic lasagna. <laughs> So we're delicious. Yes. Well, that's what I love about you. No matter what happens, you always seem to see it all as a song. I feel like... Yay! Oh, I love and, that. And it's, it's really your decision. I, I notice it's a practice that you've mastered of allowing life to just unfold and all of it's perfect, all of it's... I mean, you really live that way from hanging out with you. Oh, I so, love that. I so love that. I so love that. I mean, you're very, very evolved, and I, I'm, I'm so excited for people to know about your program. So can you share a little bit about the six-week online class that starts in May? Absolutely. The yes. Was class? actually going to start April 27th, oh, is it? April 29th. So let me, let me just make sure. It's a Monday. Yes, Monday. it's a Monday. Monday yes, it's, it's going to go for six weeks, and, and it starts April 29th. Is that is that is that April? It is April, and it's gonna. The last day would be um, June third. Um, but yes, it's a, it's an online course. I've been, you know, I've had the honor of doing private online courses with people that I've been uh, that have been my clients and I've been working with and that wanted to meet each other. 
Um, so now it's so much fun to open it to the public and include beloveds that maybe I've never met before. And, and, and so I'm just super excited for, you know, the hearts that are going to resonate with this invitation. Um, and so the chorus, let me just read you what I have here because, you know. So. Pull your ears up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's six weeks and you know the the first week is is an introduction to the natural state so it's really about telling the truth as to what's totally natural about us and learning um, tried and true uh, little gem techniques that have been so available to our species throughout the ages, throughout the ages, mm -hmm. um, as a way of getting familiar with, with ourselves as, as, you know, closer than, than who we know ourselves to be through mind. You know, it's like in the moment, we get to experience the moment either through the filter of our descriptions. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> through the filter of our descriptions. <laughs> and we get to experience the moment. We know a lot of us, we don't know the option through the spacious love of our hearts. And, and, and that's the journey that we're gonna take. So first week, it's getting familiar with who you are, and that's always gonna be part of it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a lot more simple than people can ever imagine to get familiar with this part of ourselves, this, the, the fullness of ourselves. Week two, hey. hello. My name is Dan. Oh, how much fun. Yay. Week two, we're going to explore the power of self-inquiry and all the different versions of self-inquiry that have appeared throughout the ages. The benefit of self-inquiry, um, recognizing the value of it and how we can include that in our daily lives and how it, um, you know, it's kind of like it's something where the more we practice it, we discover that it, it becomes automatic. You know, where it's, it's not something you have to really think about. It's just a part of the way you see the world. This you capacity like to... Intuition? Like, um, like self-reflection or... <clears throat> intuition, oh. intuition, self-reflection. Um, okay. Really awesome. powerful, really powerful. But self-inquiry is really about, um, you know, one of the most popular versions of self-inquiry that we have in our subculture and, and in our modern world right now is the work by Byron Katie, for example. Oh, that's so right. That's it's when a negative thought appears, mm -hmm. such as um, people should listen to me. People- uh, Nobody listens. Uh, nobody listens to me, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's like self-inquiry is, is it true? So it's just looking, a lot of times we'll have these thoughts and we won't even give a sec, we won't even, um, you know, examine them. It's just like, okay, yes, it is true. And it colors our whole world. Believing a thought is like making pressing. Up making up stories, honey. I do that. Making up <laughs> stories. And I don't, and okay, that's one thing that's so fun. That's what mind does. It makes up stories. That's what it's good at. Why and somebody and it, call back or why somebody's Yes. You? Yes. Someone's <laughs> avoiding me. Someone shouldn't avoid me. Um, and then we think we know what's best for ourselves, too, in that game. It's like, it'd be best for me if they called me back. It'd be best for me if they didn't avoid me. And we can never know anything like that, you know? Um, so, so, yes, the power of self-inquiry, exploring, you know, laughing about it. My favorite thing about having these conversations is that we can discover that we're not just one in divinity, but we're also one in absurdity. <laughs> we're one in mind. No one, no one owns stressful thoughts. No one is the, the, is the king of the mountain of stressful thoughts or the queen of the hill of stressful thoughts. It's, we all share them um, because there's only one mind here, one heart here. Week three, creative freedom. You don't know how many beloveds that I get a chance to work with that feel that they're not creative because they're not artists, because they're not singers, because they're not dancers, because they're not Steven Spielberg, because they're not, you know. And it's so interesting. I love inviting people to recognize that, you know, even especially their stressful thoughts and their stressful storylines is also evidence of how creative they are. Ah, I love that. <laughs> 
That's pretty, that's pretty creative. You know, he doesn't call me. That's because he went out with, he went out with Shafrika and they went to that place. And I know I saw him look at our yoga class the other day and I, and I saw that look and I know something's happening. I can smell the pheromones. And, you know, we can go on and on and on about making up this, uh, you know, how creative are we? Mind is infinitely, you know, I, it's so, so, so part of this is also the whole course is discovering that you are the presence where healing happens and also becoming a fan of what you think is the enemy. Mm, so we, yes. So we think mind is the enemy. I got to change it. I got to. I gotta do I gotta something with it. That one I, I gotta can't. control my fear. I'm having a hard time controlling my fear. I asked one of my clients, "How are you doing?" Well, I'm having a hard time controlling my fear. <laughs> yes, it's so like it's, we we worked on that. You know? I so love that. We of love course that. you did. Of course you did. You loved that. It's so good. It's so good. But it's amazing that we have the potential to become fans of the wonder that is mind. And 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 the 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 story description mechanism you know of this thing I see it as art. When you go into an art studio, let's say you're in Manhattan, and you just got some banana pudding at Magnolia's Bakery, mm -hmm. and then you walk into the this this <laughs> you walk into the art museum that's right over there, and it's unapologetic. It's ruthless. You know. There's everything from the most beautiful to the most, you know, it challenges us, it, it inspires us, it, you know, mind is the same. Mind is no different. We have the potential to discover, oh, wow, what a fascinating, also noticing that we're not, we're not bound to it. We're not a victim of what's appearing. When we notice its brilliance, we're also very present and we're also very clear that that's but an appearance and has no independent nature, no substance of its own. In other words, not true, like with mm -hmm. self-inquiry. And that's um, not weigh so heavily on the story. The drama. Yes, it doesn't weigh so heavily. Just that, oh, that's so interesting, like a momentary Hulu moment or Gaia that's moment or Netflix moment. <laughs> yes. Where were so, you when I was in high school? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I, yes. I, 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 I <laughs> so many moments that I've taken my high school self and sat him down, gave him a cup of reality. <laughs> One thing that I, what I find so fun is that I feel that this depth of recognition reverberates throughout all times. Yes. So, so we get to be with all of our different sales. Are you going to share it all song or music <clears throat> voice? Because you did some exercises with me that were uh -huh. so, so healing. Yeah. So each of voice. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So each of these, you know, each week, mm -hmm. um, there's a particular tone that we're going to do together, a wow. particular frequency um, that we're going to do together. And I've also created a playlist, which I so love, you know, so wow. there's a particular theme with each week. So there's awesome. particular music, some of the music being, you know, here to hear, and some of it just being from my personal collection of things that I've loved that really sing to the heart of the theme of that week. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's all going to be on the private Facebook page that we all get to share and, and, and be really vulnerable at and, and, and post songs, you know, that celebrate the theme of that week. Um, poetry. Um, so one thing that's so cool is that it doesn't, you know, our exploration doesn't end with just the, you know, hour and a half, two hour call that we're going to have on Monday night. Um, it's just going to continue. Yes, it's recorded and it's going to be put on, yeah, because there may be beloveds, you know, I have a beloved that signed up that is in Europe that's not going to be able to go on exactly at the time that we're on, mm -hmm. but they want to be a part of the whole energy and they're happy that there's a Facebook group that they can join and, and participate. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to make sure to share it with everybody. Well, thank you so very much, Michelle. For Ash, does anybody about the program or in general, he is just a wealth of knowledge. If anybody wants to ask, Don, are you going to join? I think it would be amazing. I'm definitely coming on and I can't wait to learn more about your approach and just your vibe. I, I love you. I think you're amazing. And believe me, I've had many, too. There's many, 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 many teachers and especially the, the voice 
uh, exercises. The voice and element. Well, you're such a singer. I love singing with you. Yeah. <laughs> and I love your joy of always, of always available to just burst well, women, out into, I mean, sound, into clients, song. I feel uh -huh. all my clients can benefit from opening their voices more because yes. especially when our yoni is, is shut down, that uh -huh. voice immediately. So the more we get opened up down there, mm. <laughs> the voice is just like, yeah. You know, yes, so amazing. I, you do. Yeah, singing is a full body experience yes. for sure. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's I love singing with you, and I'm excited. You know, we've talked about this is a little uh, um, insight into you know coming coming events, possible coming events. We've talked about working together and, and doing something. Sure. Heart song yoga. I'm gonna bring that to Miami to Carla Descal's place. <laughs> I want us to do it there. We are oh, yes, that would be lovely. I yeah. love that place. I yes. Get, get yeah. on with our secret voices at the secret space. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, thank you so much, Ash. Is there any other <laughs> thank events you, Michelle. that you want to announce now or any concerts? Um, Ash also does one on one coaching. <laughs> yes, yes. What was it called yes. again? The expression. Well, I'm um, self-realization mentorship That's um, it. for holistic vocal lessons. I call it vocal liberation. Mm -hmm. um, vocal liberation. I love it. Yes, that. I know. Yeah, it's so fun. I would just, you know, vocal liberation is, is the same thing as my coaching, but with singing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, because it's all yeah. about coming from that heart space. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I was, I was watching this great grade in... Uh, video. And oh, I love Greg Braden. Oh, he's fab. I love his hair. <laughs> oh, the heart. I know. The heart is 50,000 times more electromagnetically charged than the brain. Yes. And how, yeah. And it just amazes me how powerfully we can shift our physiology by opening up and connecting, just being with our hearts more. So, Amazing. that's why I wear that. That's why I have to wear red. Oh, beautiful. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love you in red. Thank you so much, Ash. I'm gonna have Thank the you so link. much. Everybody oh, how wonderful. Up. Wonderful. And, um, um just for those uh that may be watching this in Colorado, I will be there next week and I'll be holding a one day retreat um with more information to come as to what that's gonna look like. That's awesome. So so yeah. yeah. Can we close I love you. little song? Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Let's see. Um, uh, sometimes it feels like it takes a thousand years for the human race to heal all this pain that causes us to be so angry. Yes, it feels like it take a million more till we're willing to explore in a space and realize that our true name is perfect love. Yeah. Our true name is perfect love. I know that's how it feels. But all could shift in a blink, perfect love, perfect love, for only love is real. And all could shift in a perfect, ooh, perfect love. Thank you, Michelle, for being perfect love. Thank you, everybody watching, for being perfect love. Perfect just as you are. Every atom in its place. Every thought in its place. Every feeling in its place. Ooh, this moment is an expression of pure, undiluted God. Perfect. Buddha love, Jesus love, Muhammad love, Krishna love. <laughs> There's the Buddha. Hey, what up, Buddha? You beautiful. Thank you, You're Ash. You beautiful. I love, love you, darling. You. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And see you soon. Bye. Give yourself the gift, the gift of heal. Yes, you can go to my website, www.asheruiz.com, to reserve your spot or to explore more. Um, and there's also a, a link to, to the Facebook event um, with a lot more information there as well. So I have awesome. so appreciate this love. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Can't wait to see you Monday I night. I love you. I see you. Be nice. Bye.
Thank you. Bye, love. Thank you. Bye.